Well, hello, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So on today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to be catching the new fish on S5. And what we're going to do first is we're going to go out and we're going to catch the uh, trumpet fish, the blue spine unicorn fish, and the gold ring surgeon fish. And as you can see, I've caught a few of them. I haven't caught a whole lot of them yet. Usually I like to catch about 15 before I do my videos. Um, just so I get it down pat. However, I um, just hadn't had time to do a lot of fishing. So I developed some techniques that I think worked pretty good. Um, on the trumpet fish. So what I did to catch the trumpet fish. And you'll see in the video um, that I'll end up using a lure. So I did start off um, catching this guy with live bait. I was trying to do it with live bait. And uh, trying to cast out, bring it in a little bit, cast out, bring it in a little bit. And what I found, because as you can see, this guy is on all the depths. And usually what I, when I try to catch these fish uh, that are on all depths, I go for the middle, which usually will attract the lower and the top depth. What I found on this guy, it was really frustrating, is that if I fished the middle depth, and I had one that I kept catching over and over, um, just so I could figure this out. Uh, if he was on the bottom, I could tell he was on the bottom because he had bubbles. So he was on the bottom, I was fishing uh, the middle depth. And when I fished the middle depth, I actually had to sit there and count to 10 to 12 sometimes before he would bite my line. Um, so that was a lot of casting, reeling in. You know, I reel in and I count to five. And then I, I usually wait for a few seconds for the fish to either come from the top or bottom, or if they're in the, right in the middle, they would take it right away. Um, but, you know, usually I wait for about three to five seconds, and I was having to actually wait for 10 to 12 seconds. It was taking way too long. So I do end up using a lure. I use a minnow, and I kind of go again through the middle depth, and I kind of jig it around. They do t tend to grab a hold of the lure faster than they were doing the live bait. Now, if you're on the right depth, like if you were fishing on the bottom, what I did was I, I fished out on the bottom with that uh, shiner, and he bit it right away. So if you're on the right depth, you can use live baits, and it'll bite it right away. Um, however, using a lure, if you reel in and kind of bring it up and down, up and down as you're coming in, um, starting off on the bottom and just kind of working your way, you know, reel it in. It's like a count of three or four, and then let it drop, reel it in, let it drop. It kind of covers all the depths, and uh, you can grab them easier that way, I found. So, anyways, uh, thought I would explain why I ended up using the lure on that. Um, I did try a few different ways, like I said, um, and I did find that the lure was the easiest, for me at least. Uh, if you want to use live baits, go right ahead. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Okay, so here we are on S5. Let's take a look to see what fish we're going to be catching here. Uh, we have the blue spine unicorn fish, which is the new uh, regular fish. That one, we're going to catch that one on a dough ball. And I'll show you how to catch that one just on a normal mode. It's going to be easy to find that one. And then over here, we have the two new epics. We have the trumpet fish. And we're going to be catching that one with the minnow. Uh, I just find it's easier than the shiner. I mean, you could use the shiner if you like to float fish, but... I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a minnow and the goldenrod surgeon fish, which doesn't do any lures, so we're going to be using live baits, and I'm probably going to go with a dough ball on that. Uh, the reason I'm going to do a dough ball is because it also gives us a chance to catch the unicorn fish at the same time. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and start with a dough ball since I already have that on here, and we'll catch that uh, first epic hopefully, or we might be able to get the unicorn fish. So what I do is I cast out and then I reel it in counting to five. One, two, three, four, five. Pause for a second. Reel it in. One, two, three, four, five. Pause for a second. One, two, three, four, five. And since it likes the dough ball, it should grab it right away. And I do have it. Oop, there we go. I do have it on mid level. So it's going to attract the ones on top and bottom. So hopefully we have one of the new epics on here or we might even have the new normal fish we'll see and I don't 
think it's going to be the normal fish because it's going to be a, that's a medium-sized fish, which I think would have gave a bigger splash when it first took off. Yeah, that's a smaller fish and hairy. Yeah, we'll get rid of that guy. Actually, we'll keep it so I can get some money. And oh, let me go over to the right a little bit more. That's about where I was last time. There we go. Cast out there, reeled in. One, two, three, four, five. Pause for a second. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go, it turned red right away. It's a good sign. And I always start kind of about here. Oh, that was a small splash. And you can go over here, and you, you do better if you start here and just work your way across over there. But let's bring it up here. Hey, there we go. Gold ring surgeon fish. Awesome. We'll, we'll keep that guy. All right, so we have that one. Now let's look here for the trumpet fish. Like I said, we are going to switch to using the lures. So we're going to use a minnow. So let me pull up lure fishing here. Oh, look at that. I got minnow right on there right away. Of course, I'm using casting rod A and casting reel A so I can get my distance. All right, and I'm, I always use lure A. I got plenty of them, 111 of them there. <laughs> so uh, I'll go ahead and cast out a few times without doing a reset. Normally, I would do a reset, um, but let's just cast out a few times and see if I catch anything without doing a reset. Let's see, there's some bubbles over there. Let's see what I got on going. The bubbles. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. It's red. Taking off on me. Let's see what we got here. Trumpet fish does take off. Even though it doesn't look like it would, it looks like a small fish when you catch it. But it actually runs. Okay, two splashes. I didn't get a shark, which is good. Oh, there's the trumpet fish. Shark rates are boosted right now, so there was a good chance that I could have gotten a shark on there. And there we go. We have the trumpet fish. All right, I'll go ahead and keep that guy. And let's go ahead and switch to hard. And like I said, we're going to catch this guy on the dough ball. So I'm going to switch back to my float fishing. And there we go. Got a dough ball on there. And it is on the bottom and middle depth. So it doesn't matter. I can leave it in the middle there. It should target both of them. And But with it on hard, we'll be able to spot it. It's going to be this green guy right here. All right. Target out. Actually, let me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast it all the way out and count in 5, 10, 11, 12. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Set it right there. Hopefully that'll attract him. Might have to bring it in a little bit more. There it goes. And we'll bring this guy in. There goes the airplane. All right, no shark. Still there. All right. Five, ten. Let's go ahead and bring it in. Fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. About there. 
Let it sit there for a minute. Actually, it's pretty dim, so it's probably in the bottom. Matter of fact, let me... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to the middle. Maybe I'll do about 13. Not, it's not quite to the mark, so that's the mark is 15. Right now it is, but, you know, maybe 14. 13 or 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we'll just stop about there. Fishing on the bottom. Yeah, that was a little bit quicker. There we go. Hopefully we don't get a shark on there. No my luck, I'll get a shark on there. Alright, there we go. And there it is. The blue spine unicorn fish. Alrighty. Well there you go. So that's how you catch the epics and the new fish on S5. So I'll be doing S6 next. And then I got S7 and S8 to do. Those should be pretty easy. The saltwater ones take a little bit longer. I thought a little bit harder to uh, to catch all the epics. And uh, so I take up a little bit more time to record and edit and all that stuff. Um, but I'll be getting the other videos out here shortly. So thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.